In the previous video, we looked through a log of the Plaid vehicle and chassis CAN bus, and uh, we found that a lot of IDs and data was in common with the Model 3, which makes sense since, since the uh, refresh Model S and X in 2021 is mostly based on uh, the Model 3 and Y um, systems. However, as hard as I could search, um, I did find motor power, speed, and, and um, I found uh, motor powers for the new motors. Um, um, front was in the same place, but left and right rear were new. But uh, my last video kind of go through, goes through me uh, searching for those. Um, but the problem was I could not find motor torques. Uh, there should be three motors, there should be three torques, and actually there's an older uh, torque message as well as a new one. So typically we have two messages, two different torque messages per motor. So I'm used to seeing four torque messages and I really thought they'd be easy to find. Uh, and so after I made that video, um, I expected to have another one with torques uh, as I searched for them. But I went through pretty much every CAN ID in these logs um, for days. I mean, really spent days trying to match uh, torque message data up to every message, and I couldn't find it. And uh, kind of scratching my head, and people in the forums are like, you know, have you found torques yet? Well, the, uh, the good news is I did finally find the torques. But the explanation is, they're not here. Uh, and what we discovered is, uh, I was working with Ryan, who was hacking in his um, shift levers on a steering wheel. If you haven't seen that video, check his uh, steering column uh, video. And so something we discovered while Ryan was trying to get his shifter stocks functional, uh, he decided to emulate the buttons in his lower console that change shift mode. And so he was going to transmit the data into the shifter selector in the lower column. Uh, and when he was goofing around with that, he suddenly got a big uh, error that's a drive system error. And it sounded like such a major error to get for something that should just be, normally would just be chassis bus of the steering wheel. Uh, so, so there was some kind of mystery there. Uh, long story short, we figured out that there's an additional CAN bus in the new, at least in the Plaid, probably in all the new S and X. And so Tesla has got an additional CAN bus that we've never known about before, and apparently is, is sending high speed torque data. And this is probably required for the torque vectoring that's needed for the tri-motors. And I bet you we see it for three and four motors in the Cybertruck coming up. And so uh, working with Ryan again, who was the one who, by the way, gave me the original Plaid source data early on, um, we took a log with the CAN server uh, from this point. Now, I don't know the name of this bus because Tesla has not released any service information. Uh, so I'm just going to call it the Magic Bus. So let's take a peek at the Plaid Magic Bus. Now, looking through this data, we see some messages we recognize and some we don't. Um, but what I noticed is uh, some things do not make any sense with known data, or at least with known, known IDs, uh, and some do. And it starts making more sense as you walk through. Um, but what I used was um, a nice thing to use is, is the flow view here, where you can, you can pull a message and play through the data as it changes. Um, so you might see something change rapidly. Um, that's one way to find something, if, if you have um, something like accelerating, for example. Um, or actually, I, the, I did it kind of the hard way. Uh, I found, what, what I found when I first opened this up is existing known torques for the front motor were there. Just like on power, um, they were at existing IDs for the Model 3. Um, so the front torques were at existing IDs. And um, that gave me a clue that we we're onto something. We saw torques, I couldn't find the torque before. And that gave me a clue that uh, I need to keep looking through. Um, and so just to have a look, um, uh, 108 is, is uh, the typical uh, rear torque on the Model 3. 186 is the typical front torque. 
Um, and like I said, the, the rears are not there because we have the, the tri-motor. So if we look at uh, 186 here, um, and of course you don't see much in the first few frames, but um, if we add axle speed and actual torque to the latest graphing window, here you can see perfectly um, stomped on the accelerator. Uh, we have torques. This is the front motor, by the way. So um, speed went up, and in this case, the speed gets up to about. Oh, I'm sorry. These these are um, axle speeds, so it's not uh, real life speed. Uh, the front wheels were actually uh, skipping a bit here at the beginning, and then took his foot off and we regen. We have a lot of regen because it's the front motor. Um, so I found this in the no normal location. I saw this and I said, great, th this was missing from the, the typical vehicle bus file. We're here. So I started going through every single ID um, that kind of fit. And for example, right next to it, 188 here was another torque. Um, so I can add that to the latest window and so here you see this is a rear motor torque it's not skipping as much it's more constant and it does not regen as much um, so that one was nice and easy to find and of course I was thrilled I finally got these rear torques um, the rest of them were tougher but of course I spent um, about two evenings going through every single message um, and what I found I did eventually go through and find, uh, and I'm kind of guessing on the right and left torques, but they kind of align with um, previous logs where we've done some turns. So I'm pretty confident on these positions. Um, but uh, 108, 186 are the old ones. And so uh, there's 10A and 188, which we were just looking at. And then we have these other torque messages, um, which I don't know if they're old fashioned messages or they're used, they don't come out as often. But, um, and they're scaled more. So, so one is scaled for motor torque and one is scaled for axle torque. Um, and you, you can see the scaling here, um, by the way, one ninth. Uh, so they're, they're, the scale is two, one ninth to two is 0.22. And that's about the gear ratio um, in the, in the drive, drive train. Um, you can actually interchange these uh, if you wanted to. Um, but sure enough, I ended up finding all six torque messages. Um, and so, let's see if I can just load up definitions here, if that replaces everything. Yep. And so what I came up with um, was uh, torque values for risk rescale to data <clears throat> for this launch. And um, oh, left the old things in there. Uh, but what we see is the two the two rear motors, one is skipping a little bit, the one the other one is pretty solid, and then the front motor, uh, nice and clear, and then the other messages where we see it on uh, on motor torque instead of axle torque, also coincide. So everything agrees, and so it was all kind of by coincidence uh, we discovered this <clears throat> other bus only because he happened to be trying to to hack into his uh, mode selector so that he could. Uh, put a regular shifter on his column. Check out the link in the description to Ryan's channel. He's slowly showing us how he's hacked stocks onto his plaid yoke and uh, upgraded the experience of the yoke so that people don't have to deal with the horrible capacitive touch buttons. Um, but that's how we, by chance, discovered this extra bus and found all these torques. So until we, f we get uh, service information from Tesla, we really don't know where else this bus goes. But uh, I'm calling it the magic bus and uh, for now. And uh, clearly it's used for high-speed torque information and, and drivetrain information for torque vectoring. I'm not quite sure uh, who is the master controller yet. Typically the rear uh, inverter is the master controller for the drive system. But um, we have some theories and we'll see. So to get to this bus, all you got to do is pop off the phone charger. And you'll see there's a couple of wire harnesses back here. And this magic bus 
is this wire here, this cable that goes to the drive mode selector. Uh, and so this is the additional magic bus with the torques on this uh, four wire cable. Um, coincidentally, just above it is the normal diagnostic connector with the vehicle and chassis bus. By coincidence, it's exactly the same connector as I ship on the CAN server for Model 3, Model Y chassis bus underneath the seat. Uh, the pinout's slightly different, so I'd have to make a little adapter, but I already have the parts needed to plug and play into this bus, so um, if you're interested, contact me and I can make a custom one, but I'll probably have some kind of adapter ready to go in a couple weeks, uh, if you can wait a bit. Uh, but let me know if you're interested, and I should have a CAN server that can plug into this new Plaid Magic Bus. Thanks a lot.